Hello, my name is Dr. Grant Stevens. I'm the medical director of Marina Plastic Surgery Associates here in Marina Del Rey, California. We're right outside Los Angeles International Airport, which is about 10 minutes away. I wish I could be with you at the Korean Society of Plastic Surgery meeting, but I'm sending you my wishes and this message here from Marina Del Rey. I'm a professor here at the University of Southern California. I'm also fortunate enough to be the director of the Division of Aesthetic Surgery. I'd like to especially thank Dr. Kim and Dr. Shin for asking me to say a few words and sharing some of my experience with you on a very exciting technology, cool sculpting. I'd like to tell you about my experience. I first got involved with cool sculpting in 2009 when I bought my first unit. And guess what? I was the first patient treated. Since that time, we've done over 8,000 treatments and we now have seven machines. It's one of the most important parts of my practice besides surgery, of course. I'd like to share with you what happened and many of you have seen my article that I wrote in the Aesthetic Surgery Journal back in August of 2013. I looked at my first 535 patients and two-thirds of them had never come to my practice before. And of those patients, almost two-thirds of them had never had any aesthetic procedures. So cool sculpting represented an opportunity for me to meet new patients who had never done what I do and what you do as a busy cosmetic plastic surgeon. What we're doing here is non-surgical body contouring and the whole world is interested in looking their best and non-surgically contouring their bodies. When I ask a group of people, how many of you would like to lose an inch of fat? Everyone raises their hand. And then when I ask them who would like to have liposuction, very few hands are raised. So cool sculpting offers us an opportunity to meet that need, to lose that inch or two of fat, but not have any downtime. There's no surgery, there's no anesthesia, and it's FDA approved and it's permanent. Many of the plastic surgeons here in the United States and all over the world ask me, what about cool sculpting? How would it inf uh, affect their practice? But I have to tell you, when I looked at those first 535 patients, 40% of them remain in my practice. And many of them have gone on to have surgical and non-surgical procedures. So cool sculpting does not erode my practice. It builds my practice. It actually has built my surgical practice. And it's not just me because I'm here in Southern California, but I'm all over the world. I just spoke a few weeks ago and saw some of you in Paris at MCAS. A couple of weeks ago, I was down in Brazil and before that, Uruguay and so forth. I'm a visiting professor for the International Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery. And I've had the good fortune of speaking to many of you and colleagues of ours all over the world. And it's a universal phenomena. Everybody would like to lose an inch or so and look their very best. And many of us, and many of you, would like to do it non-surgically. And finally now, with cool sculpting, we can finally remove the fat non-surgically, FDA approved, no downtime, no anesthesia. So it's safe, it's effective, it's long lasting, and it actually builds my practice. But you don't have to believe me. The good news is you have Dr. Kim and Dr. Shin who are gonna come up now and tell you about their experience. They are the first Korean plastic surgeons to own and embrace cool sculpting. 